Okay. Hello. Gonna be doing something a bit different than usually. Because I'm just gonna be testing old sports mod menu today. I actually wanted to do this uh, during the last stream, but due to technical complications, I could not get past the warning screen when I tried to install the mod menu. So, that was fun. Also, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be a bit quieter today. I don't actually have someone else with me this time. And I don't really like streaming by myself, so this is gonna be a bit awkward today. I hope you will release an Android version. An Android version of what? <laughs> you need to consider that I cannot release an Android version of the Classic Remastered mod menu because Classic Remastered does not exist on Android. I've gotten this request so many times by now. <laughs> and I can't just port the entire game to Android. That's not gonna happen. Have you made a Baldi's Basics Plus mod menu yet? Well, yes, but actually no. I have one that I'm developing in the background, but I'm not releasing it yet. It's gonna be released when it's at least semi-finished. Okay, so I don't actually know if Old Sport is gonna be joining us at, us at some point, maybe. Because that would be perfect, because then I could just ask him questions directly. But if not, then I guess I'm just gonna leave this to like a first impression, I guess. Alright, uh, please don't mind the console in the bottom left. That is simply because I have changed my game to a development build. It's normally not visible. It is visible if you check the Bepanek console, but yeah. Let's see what we got. Still can close this I yeah, this is just gonna be happening, I guess. Asset modifiers here? Okay, so I Guess you can just directly change individual game components. I don't exactly understand the point of that, but sure. <laughs> Hello. Let's see, what, what what else can we do here? Okay, now that's interesting. Don't really see a use case for playing the sounds directly at the player's locations, but sure. Good enough. <laughs> Couldn't find help PTR text. Um, we can't hear game volume. Hold on, is it? Oh, I forgot to unmute it. Thanks for reminding me. Anyways, this is what it just does. I am coming, ready or no, here I come. 
it's okay i just don't really see the point but it is cool i'm guessing it just takes every audio clip it can find in the game directly maybe a bit of sorting could be useful game object oh god this is gonna be a long list hold on what what can we do here delete and drop one. can i move it position yeah that's not what i want to do <laughs> well, there should be play modifiers no clip and 3d camera oh oh god this feels weird oh okay so oldsport fell into the same trap i fell in back in the day apparently yeah now we're upside down i'm guessing he uses euler angles to rotate the camera okay, let's see where's this chalkboard i just moved maybe i should actually oh wait i think okay i think i understand now what this is actually for because i don't think it's actually modifying already existing objects it will probably be here click on an object to modify it I, uh, okay, sure, I don't know what I just clicked, but, ah. Faculty room function. Add component. Okay. I am a bit confused by this feature. First of all, the list Whatever it is, it does not be, appear to render properly. Add a component. Okay, these are probably just... Oh my god, this list is laggy as hell. I don't think that's very uh, sure let's add a gps that's can't spawn characters okay oh no there it is but where's the where exactly can i enable okay i don't actually know where I can enable a GPS text so that's weird or is it just not implemented Thought the menu was just broken now <laughs> completely modify other objects okay now the now it's broken I, I don't actually know what I'm clicking on because it's not actually showing anything this is weird Okay, I don't... I can't go back. 
there. Yes, fast guy live stream. Player has no children. Diet Coke Unity Explorer, not wanted to this on old sport, but I still kind of found it hilarious. Yeah, it really feels like it. It's just a really watered down version of Unity Explorer. But but only sort of. I I still don't understand how this list actually works. I can click sometimes, and sometimes I cannot. I cannot actually see what I'm clicking on. So, so you can use it to modify objects, but only random objects, I guess? I don't actually know. But okay. Let's actually see. Huh? Uh, okay, the NPC spawner does not appear to work at all. What is happening? What? Did I just spawn in the ground? Or... Huh? Okay, I am... Or did I just spawn randomly in the school? I don't understand what is going on. Is it... What? Okay, so I, I thought it would just spawn NPCs wherever I'm looking, but I, that doesn't appear to be the case either. Okay, so yeah, this is... Okay, that's... Oh, the job place. That's the volume. I don't understand the spawning. Does it just take a random tile somewhere? In ah okay, so now I at least figured out what my asset modification did. So that's nice to know. Also, that appears to have just straight up broken chocolates or something because he does not want to activate. Yes. Let's see. Quality counter. Okay. Yeah, okay. That really just seems like it takes a random tile from the school and then 
place as the character there. That is odd. Also, what the hell? Okay, now that looked like it was in the hall. Zack? What? Who? What? If this guy sees you leaving detention early, he uses his whistle and call the and comma call the comma principal. Who? What? I, okay, I I am confused. Did a hot sport just add a character? <laughs> with the mod menu. Why is that from BBC CS and is Is that where this character came from? I actually genuinely don't know. I'm beyond confused. Also, where is this character even? I guess it spawned somewhere, but New character is useless. Well, so far, I haven't even found this character. Cannot really comment on that. Okay, hold on. I need to set my speed high. Oh my god. Your UI skills are just as bad as mine. New character? It Apparently something old sport added, I guess. I don't know. This is as far as I know not something from the actual game. Because I definitely would have found this character by now. And according to Lewis it's from BBCCS. Ah, old board joined. Zach seems to be in the middle of the principal office, buried onto the ground. Oh! Okay, yeah. So does he just not do anything unless... Okay, hold on. I need to get rid of all these bodies because they're annoying the ever-loving crap out of me. There is one that is out oh, there. So, what exactly are you? Hold on, I am gonna on principle and get detention. Hello, I am running. Would you open your eyes, please? Hold on, does no clip disable the collider? It does. Okay. Jesus! <laughs> okay, that genuinely scared me for a second there. I'm actually working on 0.2.0, but I haven't released it since I wanted feedback from you because I figured you are a pro identity and C sharp, at least I assume you are. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know if you've been able to follow what I've said, what I've been able to do so far so that may be something you have to look in hey, later what's this? That's 
What does he even do? <laughs> don't understand. Who cares? I care. I, like, if it's in here, then just at least, then I at least expect it to actually do something. Detention key. So, principal, okay, beans, you really need to go away. He didn't serve me, what? What a principal, though. I need to get more attention, please. I am... No entering school Thank you. The only rooms in the halls. 20 seconds. Oh, my mouse went outside of the thing. You should know better. Does he do anything? Apparently not. I'm playing video plus so I don't uh, Okay, that's for what see these are standard things. Also, hold on. I just realized. Why exactly do I have infinite stamina right now, even though I don't have infinite stamina enabled? Yeah, that's something you might want to fix. Also, uh, old sport, since you're here now, what exactly does Game Object Inspector do? Because it's... I, I cannot actually see anything in the list. It sometimes... accepts my input, apparently. Then I can, I guess, manipulate existing objects, but if I cannot actually see what I'm manipulating, then... Okay, this time I apparently managed to get the door, which is interesting. Game object inspector is for manipulating game objects you have clicked on. Wait. Okay, so I guess I need to actually click on the object I want to manipulate. And this is not a list, I guess. Buffer. Collider. No. Okay, no? Okay, I'm confused again. Nope, apparently not. I don't understand this menu. Really? 
the wonder list go to the higher right key tab? Yeah, but that doesn't really answer the question. <laughs> Okay, so it is the actual object I click on. So that's good to know now, at least. And then also the question there is when I have something inactive and I go away from it. How do I re-enable it? That's kind of an oversight, man. It's a cool feature to have, but doesn't really help much if you cannot actually re-enable things you disabled. Then the hierarchy, I already checked that. I tried to clone the player, did not seem to work, or at least doesn't affect the game. Yeah. Then we saw what the assets modifier does. NPC spawner create new objects. So now this is sphere. Okay. That does essentially what I expected. Does this have any direct advantages to Unity Explorer? Okay, you can call methods directly. Ooh, good luck trying to figure out which one you actually say. Actually, hold on, why are they multiple? Like, it should only be... Ah, uh, okay, yeah, the initial overload. Maybe adding the actual overload types to the names would be helpful. Let's take time again. Big ball. Okay. Okay, fairly rudimentary game object types. Again, don't really understand. Zack. Random events. No events. So inventory editor. Also fairly rudimentous, rudimentary stuff. Infinite items also seems to work properly, nothing to add there. Exit teleporter. Oh. Doesn't actually work? Okay, so the exit teleporter does not appear to work. Not by teleporter, also not. I haven't thoroughly tested Zack yet. What he should be doing is when he sees you, escape the tension and call for the principal. 
So I'm guessing that's still a work in progress. I still don't really understand why you added the character directly through the mod menu, but sure. You do you. Now okay, so I can teleport notebooks directly to talking. me. Do Math. you have... Answer the three questions correctly, and you might get something special. Just type the correct oh, nice answer into the GPS. That's what box. I've been looking Press for. Press the OK button when you think you have the right answer. Problem one. Two minus two equals... I'm guessing no ultimate answer yet? You got it. Problem. You're doing fantastic. You're doing fantastic. You're looking for 42. It's not in here yet, sadly. Okay. Notebook amount to add. I've got a few notebooks now. Random light color. Ah. Oh, you're just directly affecting every single pixel. Oh god. <laughs> okay. I thought you were also doing just the actual lights. Full oh, map. Yeah, okay, there's no map in this one. I'm guessing that's the leftover from plus. Trippy modifiers. Audio vomit. Hey. Use the item button on the object with the quarter selected. Use the item button on the object with the quarter selected. Hearing arts and crafters just speak as a novel is really satisfying. And I don't know why. Hey! Wait, do the audio clips get assigned directly? As in just shuffled once and then they're always that audio clip? Oh, okay, that at least explains why it's not a toggle. 25 seconds. Look at what you've done. Seconds. Yeah. Okay. Camera menu. Yeah. Again. Oh. Interesting removal button. What is happening now? It clicked out of the game again. You're not capturing the mouse. Okay. Level loader. Lives is probably also another fragment from plus. Well, don't think that setting free mode on the classic ones gonna work. Oh god. Okay, hold on. I need to quit. Surprise! Yeah. Setting free mode does not actually do much. And that was done. That hide hut does not work. Nope.
presets is probably also. Yep, still straight up. Oh! Okay. Wait, what? Are you still using IMGY? I thought you moved to TextMesh Pro and everything. So I thought you already had yours component based as well. Also, that's a thing. Settings. No available languages. Key. There's not only much to change there. All these basic classic remastered mod mini ball sport. Let's go with this is my mod mini and not class guys. And my mod only uses a bit of his code. Reference resolution. See if that works. Yep. Selection color. Uh, what is what is this for? <laughs> Ah, okay. Never mind, I found out. Hold on. I wanted to move to TextMesh Pro, but decided against it. Rather, would use a bit of your code and improve on that. Okay. Uh, but I do have a suspicion. Yep. I think. Note how. The uh, RAM keeps rising. Let's see if we get away from that for a second. And now it's stuck. Go back to settings. Yeah, you have a memory leak. So that's something you might want to investigate. That's something I also fell into back with the old legacy mod menu. Basically just don't recreate a new texture every single time, or at least dispose the original you created before uh, when actually showing the color. I think that was essentially actually it. Custom calculation first non zero. Sure, let's create this. Add data. Item one. Little object. <laughs> Does this actually? No, hold on. It shouldn't actually work in Classic Remastered because the level generator code is completely removed. So that doesn't make any sense. At least not here. Is there anything I haven't actually tried out? What, what? Ah, no, okay, now this time we actually got some events to look at. So I'm guessing you just... Uh... Manipulate the ones that are already in the scene. The way I've mostly removed your code from my mod menu, I like about two scripts that were made by you, which I have at least changed. Okay. Fog. Come on, let's start the fog. Q. 
Okay, that works. I mean, effectively expected. See how extremely we can mess up. It's the randomizer. Wow. I think I need to realize it. Said I don't know how get more menu. What? Come back. You know, using your using your mod menu really just reminds me of the fact that I need to make my scroll bars more obvious. Ironically, when I heard about the base64 image method, I coded it exactly like you mentioned about recreating the same textures all over again, and it took me a bit before realizing it was wasteful. Yeah. I mean, by now I'm not even using the base64 method anymore, I'm always directly embedding them as assets into the DLL. I never bothered fixing that for the problem what have you said method. Well, I mean, if it works, it works. This toy. Search for object. Ah. Uh, nothing to do. Color, yes. Modify already made levels with this by going into the level asset tab and assets modify, I think it was. Logitech G Racing Wheel Pedals. I'm guessing that's part of um, the input management. <laughs> Level asset, there we go. Classic Remastered V2. Classic Baldi's office. Come on, let's edit the basement. Let's see. Spawn direction. West. Haven't really looked into level assets. Doors. You get char character modifiers too hard for character modifying. Goodbye doors. And now... There's a nice blue fog. think I completely forgot what the actual condition is to be able to use the basement 
I think it was that you need to actually have no account somewhere. I think I can't remember. Let's just. Also, yeah, in case you didn't actually notice it, you should also uh, check the 3D camera. Because I think you're also using at least something inspired by the old dodgy code I used to have for the classic room mess, uh, for the uh, legacy mod menus. Also, that is. Interesting what happened with the light because I think it did not get reset properly. So that's maybe something you might want to check out. <laughs> with a weird bug in this version, uh, there is one messing with arrays. When you modify an array, it does get modified, but somehow it reverts back to the old array. This has been fixed though. Well, seems to have worked here. I mean, that door isn't there. <laughs> the water is talking to me. The light is like that because you did change the spawn direction to west. Yeah, that, but it only makes kind of sense because it's still the. Is it? No. Hold on. Now I want to know. Crazy. Phase and then spawn direction back to north. And level loader, let's reload it. Oh, okay. No, never mind. It is still broken. So yeah, the light apparently did not get reset. Also, that doesn't seem to work anymore. But did you change anything else to the asset perhaps? I did not change anything other than the spawn direction. No, hold on. I did remove the doors. That's something I also did. But other than that, no. No additional changes.
Also, there are some... What? Waiting for plane to spawn. Um... I apparently have not spawned yet. <laughs> Welcome back. I still don't understand the NPC spawner, like, where exactly do- Oh, object reference not set to an instance of an object. That is... And one more thing about the array modifier while removing everything and adding new values works. Let's say the array is unity engine object array. If you click on an element, it doesn't work afterwards. Okay. Let's actually see. That game is complaining about. Okay, well, maybe because there is not actually find the instance. Hold on. I am going to go back to demo. This is no longer a problem in 0.2.0, okay. Also just... hold on. 25 seconds. Look what you've done. Does audio vomit just always play the sound at the player's origin? Also, just a general question: Do does the NPC spawner just have a like set spawn points system or something? Because it's weird that they just appear at random spots. Audio messed up with the sound objects and assigns different audio clips to them. It's weird because it's keeps there the the subtitles always just appear directly at the player whoa what is happening okay the game is really chugging along right now What did you do? <laughs> like the, the console doesn't really output anything helpful either, so it's... I genuinely don't know what you could be doing in this scenario to have it... Oh! Okay, when I'm in an unreachable spot... Then Baldi apparently just uses his lag attack. I don't know how, but interesting scenario. This is slowly getting annoying. What do you mean, slowly? <laughs> what is happening? I was playing something else for like a little bit. Yeah. 
apparently the game just really hates existing right now. God, you you really need to fix the 3D camera. Don't use Euler angles, please. Jesus! Yeah, not being able to disable audio vomit is definitely a problem. Also, what? I need GPS text just. Okay, the GPS text is broke. Pressing escape and pause the game for like a second. Oh, I cannot actually press escape anymore. I am physically unable to pause the game. Like normal. Waiting for players. I, I have spawned. You, you have a lot of bugs in this at the moment, at least in this version. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah, I think they. Hold on. I. What is even happening? Now reference exception in core game manager that pause. Great. I cannot go back to the main menu because I cannot pause. But there you go. If you want the game to hate you, use my mod menu. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, I did not click that often <laughs> on begin, but sure. Wh what? Okay, so my controls are now inverted. What is happening? Why does it rotate so many times? What? What did you do? How did you do that? And what? <laughs> yeah, my control didn't just invert it. Oh, yeah, no club. I forgot about that. You became a tire. <laughs> yeah. I was a wheel on a bus. It's a feature. Hello. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. So yeah, I, I don't exactly know why you can't... What? What? Why swing door open? What? Why? <laughs> huh? I do BM confused. Oh, my stamina actually works this time. That's good to know. What? 
What? <laughs> Please tell me someone saw that. Huh? Where did I... <laughs> okay. I am apparently not really... That's how you use items, you know. Look what you've done. Okay, the door is getting annoying again. What? It keeps popping up with balloons. How? How? <laughs> like genuinely, how, dude? That's how you use items, you know. Okay, audio vomit. Please save me for once. Just something that is less annoying. <laughs> I think this game is exploding. Yeah, seems like it. Like, what is actually happening? Come on, let's... Classic no, let's... Let's fight no, I guess. What?! Which door?! <laughs> Which door am I looking at right now? <laughs> I don't know what this is so funny to me, but it's just... The game is just... Dying. It is... It is in a state of pain. Which door is that? There! Over there! I found the door! There it is. Why is this happening? Also, your inputs are broken. If I uh, use backspace, then it just moves the cursor to the left. There! This store! This- That's how you wow. use items, you know! That's how you use items, you know! How does that work? What kind- what- like, does it just extend the reach? Hold on. No, it does not! Why- And now I cannot even- Huh? Wait. Uh, no, never mind. I'm yeah. Okay, I forgot. I'm in null mode. That's how you use items, you know. Yeah. Okay. Sure. What? Whatever is happening. I. Uh, okay. Why? Showing the glitch balloon while I'm fighting now, which is interesting. Wow. Let's go do the scummy lore ending. There's nowhere I can hide? You really think so? I'm I'm literally above you. There, that's a notebook I missed. But up, but up, but up. Hello? What? Hello? What? I think now secretly went into my mom and to break the game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Wow. That's how you use items, you know. 
Hello, Mr. Wow. Null. That's how you use items, you know. Okay, let's do this differently, I guess. Oh my yes. god. Let the grown up spot this. This also means that I cannot actually pick up. Uh. What? What did you crash through? Oh, hello. That's how you use okay, now I at least know where you are. Means I can now go here. Does I want to flip? So let the grown up spot this. Wow. Let the grown up spot this. Is it possible to run fast and old spot more at the same time? Yeah, as far as I know, that's actually possible. <laughs> I don't know how well it actually works, but I mean that's something they can try later, I guess. Oh, oh, okay. So he reacts to when I have no club enabled here. Sure, cool, very nice. What? Why aren't they bobbing? What is happening? Okay, so I cannot actually pick up projectiles during no clip. It's a different lore ending now. <laughs> From the timing, that weirdly fit. Oddly enough. No. So. Uh, let's just. Let's just say you no longer have a glider. And you shall not. Be a character. Can't anymore. Baldy, I guess, transformed into no. Yeah. That's how you use items, you know. <laughs> okay, so now if I. If I did everything correctly, then you should not be able to interact with me anymore. Character control is disabled. I have to capsule code. I do this. So. Now let's do something risky, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Wow. Good day, sir. That's how you use items, what? You, know. you just... You just went through... Did not care. Oh, yeah. I just realized that I'm a dumbass. Because I disabled his collider. I guess there's no way to currently say, hey, you should not interact with the player. I mean, hold on, can I... Game objects, hierarchy... Oh! Okay, so... Modmin, you just broken now. Modmin, you's gone. <laughs> Cannot go... Back either, yeah. Martin is just dead now. Okay, um, I guess that's it for this session. Then, press space. Ah, huh, okay. So, I'm guessing the hierarchy menu is now just broken, which is great can't really click on myself. Hold on, why is it broken? Let's actually check the console. Another null reference exception in get parent. Scene hierarchy. 
seen how I can get power now, okay. So when it tries to load some objects parent. Oh! Okay. That seems to have a like a little timeout seems to have just <laughs> enabled it. Okay. I I I I apparently am two. I am both me and him. So I've never really thought my mod menu would be that disruptive, although what do you expect when you're just modifying any game object? Yeah. Not editable, can I? Is there anything I can use to directly set it? Nope. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Well, hello. Well, oh, that's a bit dumb. Take a set of you have to know the name rather than no pen and copy and paste it. It won't accept any of a string that doesn't match any tag in the tags list. Yeah, you should probably have something that indicates a wrong value, just... Interesting that the hierarchy just works now, I don't understand why it didn't work before. Okay, what's a different tag that works? I think NPC, right? There we go. So now I'm an now I'm an NPC and now should no longer see me as a player. So now I should be able to re-enable this colliders. Wish me luck. Did not mean to throw that, but sure. That at least hit. Where did I just get that from? Oh, what? Uh, good rotation? Nope. But he just... What is even happening now? Okay, so... I guess he's now just um, a screensaver. What? Okay. <laughs> what is he happening at this point? Oh! So, yeah, just my camera is attached now, I guess. Wow, that's how you use items, you know. And then whenever that does me. Wow, that's how you use items, you know. Let's try and beat him this way.
eventually I will be able to move. I have been able to move. God damn it, I did not mean to throw that. Am I playing out of second person perspective right now? really add a warning sign that says something like before you go here the game will hate you or something like that just put a link to this live stream <laughs> to show you <laughs> this game will break your game in more ways than one Wow. Items, you know. Okay. You should know better. You should know better. Yeah, you're right. I should know better. Oh. What did I have? Oh no, never mind. I didn't have enough one. I keep forgetting that. Uh, you completely disable the trigger. One thing I actually wanted to check. Classic main. Because... I skipped all day, I say, I say, I say, I skipped to push the pain away. Now I wanna know. I skip. Wrong answer. Yeah. So I'm guessing whenever the mod menu closes, you just immediately set the time scale back to one. So opening the mod menu in the you can think pad means. And then closing it means that you just have the game running in the background without hard mode. Is body slapping just watch out? No. What? What is saying watch out? What? What exactly is saying that? Remove the time scale one zero. Doesn't use this weird approach anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's his motor! His motor is saying, watch out! <laughs> Rotate faster, you... ...the machine. Do you have any character specific modifiers? Not directly, just the. Yeah. That should be enough. The sound just oddly fits. Yeah. 
you can now hear something at that doesn't six six at six. Does that even okay it does actually say that and not reacting to that. Because we don't care. Twenty seconds. Hello. You two are cuddling, I guess. What? Why does nothing bob anymore? What what happened? The game broke so hard that the the subtitles aren't working. The bobbing just straight up isn't working. Null doesn't work. Need lighting doesn't work. This game is just broken beyond repair at this point. Oh my god, this is it's getting so annoying. But I cannot disable audio vomit without restarting the game completely. I skipped full day right there, okay? I skipped the push the pain away. But yeah, sometimes the game just seems to play the audio at the player origin. Nothing works, Veska. You have, you have destroyed it pretty good. Apparently! And all I did was just use it. I genuinely don't know what I did to do this. Yeah, okay, but I think that's effectively it. Why did what did this uh um I don't think that's supposed to happen. So the GPS text. It's off. How to download on TV? What? Right. Couldn't find help. Dot height. Dot text. You really need to. You really need to fix your health texts as well. Also, only some of the values seem to have health texts at all. Did the height hut now just work? Now it doesn't anymore. Okay, so I have no more HUD. Hey, 
What even happened to the schoolhouse itself? Why is why is every door closed? Uh, why is every exit already closed? What? What? I have genuinely broken this game completely beyond repair. Eight. Another wow. alternate lore in the eight. That's how you use items, you know. I do know, thank you. Oh my god. This is this is horrifying. This is This is Slight baldy face in the shadow. The atmospheric sound, the song is also very fitting right now. That wasn't. That's how you use items, you know. Let's see, can I spawn a character here? No. I cannot. Add fog and make the make it black. I don't think I can spawn that properly here. Can I do, do, do. curious what you have to say when you're done? Yeah, I don't think I can actually create a fog event in this one. Hmm. <laughs> what a preset seemed to it. It's seven. seven. What? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Genuinely. Ah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. But I think. <laughs> I think with that, this is also the end of this journey. Because <laughs> I don't think that there's much more that I can really do here. Hold on, now I want to know. Okay, that at least seems to really remove everything. So yeah, what do I have to say? It is very 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 buggy and i mean with the uh, the scope you're trying to actually have with this it is very much understandable but i think you've gone way too quickly into this idea i mean it is still not even the first proper release, as far as I can tell, since it's still a zero-point version. 
So there's not really much I can really criticize on that end. But at the same time, I don't really see much uh, of an advantage uh, instead of just going for um, Unity Explorer when it comes to this entire thing. I mean, having access directly to predefined objects from the game itself instead of just what the engine gives Unity Explorer is very much helpful. But I think in that regard you should try and just like make them a combinable mod. So like your mod menu is an addition to what Unity Explorer has to offer. What rating do you give this mod menu 1 to 10? Does Unity Explorer have an option to modify the game's assets? As far as I know, yeah. Because that's effectively what I've also been uh, using when trying to debug smaller things with my mod menu. Because using Unity Explorer you can just randomly create so it, effectively it has the features you have in here but a bit more um what's the word i'm looking for it's more fleshed out let's say like that and i mean that's obvious unity explorer uh, has existed for a while now I really didn't know that, I thought you just had access to game objects in the current game. No, you can actually uh, directly add, uh, access resources that are loaded by the game. Which you're effectively also doing here. On a scale of 1 to 10, considering the fact that it effectively broke the game beyond repair <laughs> except for restarting the game when just focusing on that i would probably currently give it a four but especially this brokenness was a, a lot of the fun that i actually had with this right now So that definitely bumps it up to a 6. I genuinely had some fun. <laughs> but it definitely needs to be fleshed out more. Again, I can just... Put to heart? I don't, I don't know if I'm using that correctly but I can just put to your heart that you should try and make them more uh, try and make it more work in tandem with Unity Explorer together I mean what you could do what might be interesting is in a way that wouldn't really help much I was about to say you could like try and just be some sort of Unity Explorer Lite directly for Classic Remastered, where you directly predefine some objects and stuff that people like to use themselves, but with Unity Explorer would always have to uh, manually reconstruct every time. But I think. Unity Explorer has a method so you can save and load uh, things you have defined yourself. So I'm not sure if that would really help much.
that's something I'd need to actually check before I can really make a call on that. But yeah, other than that, maybe try reworking a bit of the UI. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why I've rem why I've moved away from this cramped UI kind of style. It is just <sighs> anything else I can really say. So you want me to make the smart menu a Unity Explorer plugin? Technically. But also not. Because it is good to have something that you can use for simpler things without having to install the uh, rather heavy Unity Explorer because it's I have noticed that it does drop performance a lot. Like every time I try to debug anything with Unity Explorer, first of all, it completely breaks my debug sessions, so it's really not uh, usable for that kind of stuff. And it just drops my FPS by around, I think, 30% without it even being active, like, just in the background. And it also uses a lot of memory. So having something that is more lightweight and directly tailored to Body Spaces Classic Remastered would definitely help. Also, maybe some better instructions in some of this. Like, I don't really know what changing much of the shader actually really helps. Yeah, don't forget that I'll instead improve my mod menu instead of making this Unity Explorer because performance and all that. Yeah. I don't even know if Unity Explorer like has a direct plugin interface so it wouldn't be a unity explorer plugin anyway no it, it would just exit it, it would coexist to unity explorer which is what i was trying to get at uh... yeah, i think that's actually it then You tried to ball and play old sports BB plus Marmony. Is it much different from the classic remastered mod menu? Because I mean, it seems that a lot of, at least. A lot of the stuff from the plus mod menu is also here. For example, the map. There is no map in Classic Remastered. So this is probably just part of plus. Hold on. 
Now there aren't other plus plus features that aren't working on BBCR, so technically they are different because they might be they want many of the BBB features. Yeah, well, obviously, but it seems like you have effectively the same code base. I do want to look at is what kind of comments you've actually gotten on the on your itch.io page because I remember you complained to me that you didn't really get much feedback from other people top hat approve of, approves of this mod <laughs> <laughs> How to get a mod? Yeah, yeah, the same kind of idiots sometimes, apparently, who cannot actually look. Mm -hmm. No clip. I'm gonna try to pick up an item. And now glitch boss fight and to pick up the item. Yeah. That's the thing that also happened to me. I'm getting at least some feedback from these people, although they weren't about the things you've said. Well, at least, I mean, I don't know how helpful my feedback was now. Actually, you'll have to decide that for yourself. What is trying to game him into tons of other bucks you said? Yeah. Someone's mod menu just looks grey. Very interesting. Deleted five days ago. Cool. What what are some of these comments you get? Like I eat the normal pills from Dream Normal Pills. What? You're getting the same kind of weird, out-of-context comments that I'm getting. Add an option to increase your OPI TPs. 